Hey guys! Hello! We, we made, made it. it! We are in New Zealand. So yeah, yeah. so we're going to talk about the stuff that we brought, um, a little bit of tips here and there when traveling with a baby, but then yeah, just our overall like our experience gear and traveling. experience and yeah. Mainly we're gonna be going through all the stuff and kind of get detailed into like why did we bring certain items yep. and would we bring them again even though we are just like a couple hours into here. Yep. There's certain items that were just like so big and bulky yeah. it was just like oh my goodness. So. We apologize in advance. It's gonna be a long video. Yeah, it is. Just because we wanna be detailed and we yep. wanna give like proper content of like why we're actually doing this and you know why we're bringing certain things. Yep. Um, so feel free yeah. to fast forward if you're not interested in that and just wanna hear you know our update. We'll keep that mostly at the beginning. And um, yep. yeah, we've, we've had a lot of people asking what we're bringing. And I gotta admit, I'm a little ashamed. Oh, I'm totally ashamed. We brought so much. I'm not just a little ashamed, I'm mega ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> so Naomi and I, we spent years two years, that. sorry, two years traveling out of our backpacks. And it was carry-on backpacks that had to be under 14 kilograms. Um, 14 or 12? Um, under seven kilos. Excuse me, it had to be under. Pounds. Yeah, it had to be under 14 pounds. Mm -hmm. Each, so yeah. Um, and we did that for two years, so including, that's what we're used including to. Including camping equipment, our sleeping bags, sleeping our clothes, bags, like everything, pillows, yeah. towels. So that's what we're used to, and like in our mind, that's where we're still at. But with the baby, it changes things a little bit. And then moving, like what? actually moving countries, and like wanting certain things, yeah. it changes things as well. And we're we're going to be moving into possibly a um, unfurnished apartment or a house, and so we wanted to bring things that we could furnish our apartment with. Um, essentially realistically i don't know if we would do that again though but no. yeah we'll get into it again we are a little ashamed of this stuff i just want to reiterate that <laughs> and uh it pr very likely will be it 100 percent will be different once we actually go to madagascar yeah. just because we can't bring we're, we're gonna try and get down to carry on only um which would have to include unfortunately the gate checked items of a stroller which baby carry or hiking pack actually and a um, car seat yeah. so yep because african airlines unfortunately are very well known for losing checked luggage and so we don't want to check any of yep. our gear or anything that. like that yep so yeah anyway enjoy we're gonna try our best to make this short and simple that was a long intro so here we go yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we are gonna start with my bag. Um, my main bag is a Z-Pax. I absolutely love this. This is the Arc Haul. First things first, we have our main accessible zipper on the outside. And so number one, my Arteryx down jacket. This is my underwear and sock. Um, the socks that I'm using are darn tough socks. I also have Smartwool socks uh, that I love and I also have Lululemon socks with like the silver lining. I also have my gaiters in here. So these are like the Lululemon socks. I also have my gaiters in here. The underwear that I'm using is Lululemon. The next thing that's there that's super accessible is my toiletries and so like my shavers um, and deodorant. That's really, that's all that's in here. This is my sleeping pad. This is the Inertia X-Frame. Then I have my Arteryx Alpha SL and it's my rain jacket and I got my Bible. All right, we got my C to Summit Micro MC. Uh, it's either the two or the three. I can't remember what one I got. Unfortunately, this is discontinued, but this is like the best sleeping bag. Then I got some workout shoes. Yep, so I got some workout shoes there. All right, I have my hiking poles. All right, and here is my towel. It just dries so nice. And I think the brand is called Nomadic. So rather than us buying a new TV anywhere we go, um, we bring this. So first things first, we bring our Apple TV, but you have to hook it up to something. So we have this, it is called uh, Wow Oto, and it's a projector. It's a 1080p uh, HD projector. It just works really, really nice. I have two bags of clothes. So these are all the clothes that I bring with me. Um, I have one for kind of warmer weather uh, gear, so more like long pants and long sleeves, and then one for short uh, weather gear. So this is my warm weather uh, little compression sack, and uh, the one long sleeve kind of bigger item that I use, that I bring, is this LL Bean. All right, this is my one kind of long sleeve, nicer um, shirt. A button-up shirt. It's from Arteryx. Then I have my nicer 
pants, and uh, these are the Lululemon ABC uh, pants, and for anybody who knows these pants, like, yeah, they just look great in any occasion. So you can wear these to a wedding or you can wear them to the beach. The main pants that I would say I would wear is my Arcteryx uh, Palisade pants. So these are like my hiking pants, but realistically I, I wear these just around. The last thing I got in here is not a winter thing, but it is my swimsuit. This is the Quicksilver swimsuit, and uh, it's called the Waterman. It is such a good swimsuit. And then this is all my short sleeve here. All right, the first shirt I have in here is my Arcteryx polo. Then I have just a Lululemon, I believe they call this the five year uh, shirt, is the five year V. And the big thing of like the clothes that we have, we don't have that many clothes, because realistically like this is everything that's gonna be in our closet. So it's not that much, but it's enough where it's not like we're wearing the same shirt every day. But not having that much stuff, we want good quality stuff as well. I would say Nick goes for things that are more antimicrobial, uh, like your silver um, impregnated fabrics and your like merino wool and things like that. This is another Lululemon, uh, just the basic five-year white tee. This is the Arcteryx. It's just like their um, their everyday tea that they have. These are the main shorts that I wear. Uh, these are Lululemon. I'm not sure the name of them, but yeah, these are just basic shorts uh, that I have from Lululemon. And then these are the exact same shorts from Lululemon, but just different color. Uh, then we have these shorts. These are from Patagonia. They're, they're called the Nine Trails. I love these shorts. And these shorts I like, I don't absolutely love, but yeah, these are the Arcteryx shorts. I can't remember the name of them, but yeah, just basic workout shorts from Ar Arcteryx. And the last item I have in here is a polo from Icebreaker. All right, continuing in my bag here, this is my camping pillow. So this is the Nemo Filio Elite. Really, really nice. Uh, Naomi even whipped it out on the plane and used this on the plane. Really recommend this. All right, now I have my hammock. I am currently using the Hummer, Hummingbird hammock. All right, then we have our stove kit. And some of you have seen the stove kit feature before. It's called the GSI Pinnacle Duelist. We also keep our coffee in there. For those of you who see our coffee videos, this is our coffee setup here. We now have the Big Agnes Copper Spur 3. And this thing is like a palace compared to our last one. It is huge but it's still relatively packed, packed small. And then we just have to pull separate that are just inside the bag. Otherwise, it's this huge thing that you actually can't compact. Um, and it's really nice when you just take that out. So that is everything that's in my main bag. We'll go through Naomi's main bag now. Oh yeah, and I am wearing a uh, Lululemon uh, just five-year t-shirt. This one the, with this fabric, it has the silver engraved in it. And then I love these pants. These are the Viore pants. They're a lot tighter than I normally would wear along um, my lower half. And they're just super comfortable though. Um, very durable. I can wear them hiking, I can wear them traveling, I can wear them you know, just around grocery shopping or doing errands. So yeah, I really, really recommend these. I really love these pants. So this is my main pack. This is the Osprey Lumina 45. Um, this is the lightest full suspension um, hiking pack in the world. So I, so I hear. <laughs> so first up, actually, I'll just grab what's out of here. Random toy, and also I just had to shove things in here, so bear with me. I always, always, always travel with flip flops. I love them. These are as Cedar Summit. Um, these are like the straps, and we I can use these to attach whatever I want to the outside of my pack. So these always come in handy. Just like a general random go-to item. Another toy for Nikita. Once again, we have some more little toys for Nikita. Some of these are really kind of lighter weight ones. They're just ones that she loves and I wanted to uh, bring with us to New Zealand. Another wooden stacking toy for her. This is the Nemo Tensor um, sleeping pad. It's insulated. I love this thing. Kita also on camping trips um, sleeps right next to me. I got her her own little one, which is a half size um, one and same fitness, same company, insulated, awesome. This is a um, Osprey uh, kind of a padded compression cell or padded toiletry cell. We have a bunch of those. You probably saw some from Nick's bag. 
And here, da 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 da, we have our AeroPress. Um, you guys have seen that if you've watched any of our um, coffee videos or anything. And then we have the 1Z Presso grinder, which again, you guys have probably seen, that fits inside our AeroPress. Um, rechargeable, battery powered um, milk frother since we're extra. Uh, this is the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. You attach it onto the top of a um, propane gas cylinder, and um, that is our stove. So this is a very small stove. I also have a um, hummingbird hammock. I have my teaks. If you're a girl and you have Pinterest, you probably... I don't know if you guys know that, but it's, it like goes over, it's like a neck warmer type thing and then you can use it as a mask if you're in a pinch. Or I get cold ears randomly when I'm hiking, so I always bring this and that way I can just throw it on um, and it doesn't keep me, it doesn't make me overheat or anything. I also have Darn Tough, kind of uh, thicker uh, merino wool socks. Alright, so this is the lower, or my, my bottoms. Um, I am wearing the Athleta Salutation joggers, and they're my favorite thing ever. It's awesome. Um, just a bandu bikini top. Uh, this is my sunbathing hat because I want to keep my face out of the sun. This is a little black dress. Again, this is, a, this is just because we're moving and I didn't want to have to buy something if we we're going out for an event. So this is just a little, uh, I could use this for weddings, whatever it is. It's just a really cute little dress. Um, some denim shorts, 
Again, don't bring denim when you're traveling, but whatever. Okay, denim shorts. Jeans, I will from now on pretty much always bring jeans when I'm traveling. Even when we were in Mozambique, there were times when all I wanted was just to feel normal and jeans do that for me. So if you're gonna be traveling and long term, just bring something that makes you feel normal. Another little black dress, which again, just something cute because we're moving countries and I don't wanna buy stuff. This is a black dress that is actually for traveling. Um, this is the uh, Athleta. For me, it's the perfect travel dress. It's the only dress I'd bring traveling. It's so versatile, you can dress it up, you can dress it down and it's comfy and Athleta. Thera dress, I believe it is. If you're in the market for a travel dress, buy it, I love it. These are my favorite hiking pants of all time. They are Arteryx Gamma LT. These are the Patagonia Strider Pro. Um, they're short and I love hiking in them and I can't really wear them just at anywhere just because they're really short, but I go hiking in them and I love them. Viore. Really great brand actually, uh, only just discovered it, Viore, um, just little hiking shorts and they're cute. And that's it. Thanks for bearing with me through that guys. Um, that's empty now. And I forgot um, what I wore on the plane. I actually wore um, some leggings by Athleta, my go-to. Um, so they're in the laundry right now. Um, and then I have two other shirts that are also in the laundry. All right guys, now my actual carry-on. Um, yeah, it's just this Patagonia bag. I really like it. Um, it's not amazing. There's nothing really to you know, brag about it, but yeah, it's a good bag. So let me show you what I brought for the carry-on here. So the first thing is my camera stuff. This is way more camera stuff than I ever thought I would have, but it's not like it's that much, so it's really nice. I'm using a Sea to Summit utility bag that has little padding in it, and so yeah, it, it works really nice. The other thing I have in here is one of these, uh, again, another one of these Osprey little bags. And this is really for our electronics and our chargers and our battery pack and all sorts of stuff. So. The big thing we have in here is this Anchor battery pack. This one in particular is way bigger than any other battery pack we would normally have, but the beauty behind this one is that this will charge my MacBook Pro. And then um, the other stuff we have in here is external hard drive. The other stuff is just cords, as well as some travel adapters. So these travel adapters are really, really great just because they work for just about any plug in the world. Then I have my laptop case, which is kind of funny because my laptop is not actually in here. I am just using this uh, for documents, like our marriage certificate, our social security cards, um, you know, our birth certificates, all sorts of stuff like that. That's where we keep that. And then I have my MacBook Pro. All right, then on the outside pockets, on the top here, for the easiest excess possible <laughs> is my Nintendo Switch. I use uh, Bose. Uh, Bluetooth headphones. All right, then in this front pocket, I have a Logitech mouse that I use for work. Then I have this fancy thing, and it is a Nintendo Switch uh, dock adapter. And we have playing cards. So we have the National Parks playing card deck, and then we have Animal Tracks of the Midwest. And that is it. Oh, on the side here, I have a, another Bible. Um, and this is just, you know, one of my older Bibles that I just know where everything possibly is. All right, so this is um, the Osprey Tempest 20. Okay, so in our front pocket, we have the um, Adventure Medical Kits Ultralight Watertight Medical Kit 0.9. Being an RN, I of course opened it up and put in a bunch of extra stuff that wasn't in there already. All right, in the side pockets, for no particular reason at all, uh, just to make more room inside, I have um, my rain jacket, which is, I love it, love it. It's the Black Diamond Fine Line um, Rain Shell and it packs down very small it's very waterproof and it's very breathable and just overall a fantastic design i love this um, and i have it in a little osprey um, one liter stuff sack we never intended to use so much osprey but i don't know they're
favorite carrier, the Sakura Bloom Scout Carrier. And it is just so nice. You guys have probably seen it in um, our Grand Canyon video or some other videos. And it's got leather and it's linen and it's just wonderful. This is our Sawyer water filter. Now, this is awesome when you're going on a day hike or a multi-day hike and it just saves so much weight because you don't have to bring water. If you have access to water, even a puddle on the side of the trail, you can filter it out with this. And if it gets clogged in the field, it's easy. You just backwash it on the, in the field right there. It's super small and compact. Now, you saw Nick's towel. This was my previous towel, um, but it is now, I guess, a spare or Nikita's towel because they're small enough that you can take a spare. Um, and it's just a very lightweight, small microfiber towel. Now this is my newer one, um, and it's just like, it's a horrible texture, and it, I mean, it doesn't feel great when you're drying yourself, so if you're kind of fussy about that, like Nick is, um, but it just is so small, and it's just a no-brainer to bring a towel along with us when we're day hiking or whatever we're doing. And then, that is what is in my day pack. Oh, I forgot. In my hip belt, I have chapsticks, and then this is a Petzl headlamp. Um, very light, and it's rechargeable, which is amazing. Waterproof, really great headlamp. And that is that. This is my guitar. It is a Mini Maton, which is an Australian brand, and it is a mini guitar. But it has a big voice for a mini. It's just a fantastic travel guitar. Got a big voice for a little guitar, just like me. So this is our Upper Baby Minu. This is a compact stroller, so it folds down supposedly to be able to fit in the overhead bins in most aircraft but we haven't tried that out just because we find it more convenient to check it at the gate it comes you know with this little um, shoulder strap basically it's just really compact you just open it like that and yeah really nice travel stroller it's done everything that we need it to next up we have Nikita's car seat so this was um, just a really handy way to pack in more stuff because you can check a car seat for free or you can do a gate check, but we find it easier just to check it. So this is some stuff that we snuck in there, but this car seat is called the Cybex Serona S. Um, you might have seen it in some of our other videos. There we go. So I can swivel it, put her in, and then have her either forward facing, which is really handy for some cars that um, are just kind of more compact and it, you can't really fit it in rear facing um, or you can have it rear facing. It's also very heavy. So to travel it with is. it realistically, like it's, we're possibly not gonna bring it with us to Madagascar. To Madagascar, Because it's not. so heavy. Yeah, and then a the secret stash that I put inside the car seat case. I have three stuff sacks in here. One of them is all baby food notches. for two weeks of quarantine. And then we just have random household stuff. So Nick's uh, knife sharpener. I have my Leatherman knife that I always like to carry with me. Um, some bug spray because, just because. My bathroom scale. Um, just a, a face mask thing. Um, this is a, just like lint rollers, lawn, just random laundry stuff that I didn't want to have to rebuy when we're here. This is something for our car seat um, that plugs in and it is a smart car seat that uh, is able to tell us um, via our phone whether um, we leave Nikita in the car or if she's too hot or too cold or if she's not buckled in right. So um, just some little adapters there. Um, essential oils and um, just like a detox uh, liquid supplement and then some hand sanitizers and like you guys know just supplies like sunscreen um, my absolute favorite body lotion that I didn't know if I could buy here and just like contact lens like all kinds of stuff that when you um, live somewhere longer term you want to have and you don't want to have to rebuy so pens and Oh my goodness, you guys, there's so much stuff. Um, these are all of our sharps, uh, so Nick's uh, favorite pocket knife. This is 
um, just some spare laundry detergent, um, some hypoallergenic stuff that I use. So um, I'll be hand washing a couple of my things. Um, a thermometer and the nose Frida for Nikita, um, and then just some like spare bandages and random supplies. And then these are really cool. Um, they're called adventure wipes, and I just put them in this ziplock bag that's falling apart. Basically, you add water, it expands into a baby wipe, and it expands into a baby wipe. And it's just very handy to not have to bring a giant pack of baby wipes, which we brought anyway as well. But these are for hiking, and they're just super handy. Um, Bottle Bright to clean out my hydration bladder, which I forgot to get, show you guys, which is in my day pack and just some repair tape. So that is Nikita's car seat bag. Um, this is our uh, Osprey, again, uh, hiking baby carrier. Um, and then we just shove a few things in here, uh, just some books. The problem is, is there's no ultralight baby carriers that you can go hiking with. And so, you know, you basically have three options. This was the most comfortable and generally like the lightest option, but it's still super bulky, but it works really well. Obviously you guys have seen a lot of videos where I use this all the time. These are my hiking shoes. They are the Ultra Lone Peak 4.5s. So these are the Salomon Speed Cross 5s. And then your hiking poles my were hiking in poles, there as well. Yeah, these are the Gossamer Gear Owl LT something. They are so lightweight. And I don't know if we explain what this is. This is the Osprey uh, Poco Plus uh, baby carrier hiking pack. It works really well. It's heavy, but it's very secure and it's very comfortable for me as well as the baby. This is just a random duffel bag that we bought off of Amazon two days before we left because we completely forgot that we needed a duffel bag. Diapers. Being in quarantine, um, we need two weeks worth of diapers. I snuck in some cute ankle boots, don't judge me. I stashed my favorite kitchen knife in a bag of diapers. This is the Shun um, Japanese Sentoku knife and I'm obsessed with it. This here is her travel crib. It is the Guava Lotus, Guava Family Lotus travel crib. And this thing is amazing. I love it. I will recommend it to everyone. We'll do a separate review on this one. Basically, it's the perfect travel crib. That's all you need to know. These are reclining camp chairs. Uh, again, we are gonna be moving into an unf unfurnished rental property, uh, possibly. And so these are basically going to be our living room chairs. And then we can't go anywhere without our board games. So Nick's favorite game, Scythe, is here and here. And those are very heavy. And then this is a game called Viticulture, great game. And a game called Wingspin, another great game. So again, moving countries, we wouldn't take those to Africa with us. Um, this here is a high chair. It's called the Mountain Buggy Pod High Chair. And you basically clamp it onto Kind of any regular table. Some more clothing items that I decided to buy in LA. Uh, another cashmere sweater from Everlane, which is an amazing store. And then another couple t-shirts, again from Everlane. And then just things get thrown in random places when you're traveling. I think that's all that's in there. Well guys, that is it. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff, like we said, we're kind of embarrassed, but we wanted to show you everything that we're doing. We and... wanted to be fully transparent. Yeah, <laughs> and so, and also so you can see the progress that we're gonna make the next time <laughs> and when we actually decide to cut that back a little bit. A lot of, pro a lot of progress. Yeah, cut back so. a lot. Oh, thank wait. you. We forgot one bag. Oh no. Her diaper bag. And she has a diaper bag. All right, let's do it real quick. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Ergo carrier. Mug. This is my down jacket. Arcteryx Cerium LT. Love this thing. Always keep it with me for the plane. Handbag. Buckle buddy. Snacks. Patagonia for Nikita. Headphones. Chargers. Her Bible. And stickers. Which, <laughs> tell us a little bit about this. Okay, tennis. okay. All right. These, honestly, I feel like they saved our lives and everyone on the planes. So, 
These are by Melissa and Doug, and they're like three bucks for hundreds of stickers, and they're reusable, restickable. There's actually no sticker, but they're vinyl, and it is perfect for a plane. It will occupy her for literally hours, um, uh. and she never gets sick of them. She wants to peel them off and stick them in all kinds of random places, mirrors, glass, on her forehead, and like, yeah, she absolutely loves them. Um, don't mind her hair, she just pulled her pigtails out and that's crazy. So, if, if you look, there's actual stickers that she grabbed that are here right now. And they can always peel off. Her fourth word she ever said was sticker. So, uh, yeah, just get those if you're going on a flight. It's called an indestructible book. They cannot destroy it. iPad, these are my little adventure wipes for her uh, baby wipes. Bible and highlighter and notebook. Best blocks ever. Magnet. Magnets. She loves these. A sarong. Do not travel without some sort of fabric-y sarong, capulana, whatever you call it. Every country calls it something different. Perfect for traveling with a baby. And then this I didn't get to use, but um, the Eros Pillow by Cedar Summit, and it's basically one of those neck pillows. You blow it up, it fits around your neck. You all know the drill. And a face mask. And that's officially it. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. It really helps us if you like the video and it really helps us if you comment as well. So comment something about that, you know, you would have us do differently or things that you liked or <laughs> if you have any questions about the gear. So we appreciate you all.